Hello, 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 everybody. All right. I've got my earpiece in because, you know, uh, there's going to be so much talking before back and forth between me and people watching. Um, hello. We are live now via YouTube and Twitch. Um, I hope you guys are finding everything okay. I know I've had two people. Uh, what's up, Stephen? Hi, how are you? Um, I've had a couple of people message me already asking for the link. Um, if you're on YouTube already, you found me. <laughs> if you aren't, oh, Matthew, Umberto, hi, hello. Um, I hope that you guys can hear me okay. Uh, I'm just going to ramble. So this is my first digital game night. All right. I am not going to say that I am a pro at this. I am not going to say that this is going to go smoothly without any issues. Um, I will say that I will. Um, oh, thank you for the tip, Chrissy. Thank you. Uh, I will say that this may be a shit show at some point. <laughs> this will be the one time. So on Thursday nights, if you don't know, I do a uh, I now do a small business spotlight where I am trying to feature um people that I that are small business owners or small business um, uh, small independent artists and stuff of that nature and um, I try to be really professional and try to maintain my eye contact and I don't you know don't have any beverages or anything during this whole thing what's up Chrissy hi hello um, if you're watching on Twitch or on YouTube just know that uh, put comments in there uh, Say whatever you want to. I can see everything that is uh, that is in there. Orlando Game Night is saying hello. I believe that is uh, Mr. Mikey Pilo. What's up, Mikey? Um, so this is going to just be... It, it's We're just going to have a good time. Um, I do want to, before we get very far into anything, um, I do want to say uh, a quick couple of thank yous uh, to two very awesome people and organizations that are sponsoring game night. And I'm going to say this throughout the entire night. Um, Bearskin, Jody and Bjorn, two of my, my good friends. Um, I have been uh, very privileged to, to know them for quite a few, uh, few years and they are uh, one of our sponsors for tonight. And actually the uh, winner of the grand prize, one of our lucky winners from tonight, will get a $25 bear skin gift certificate. So um, whoever gets the uh, the prize, um, message me or I'll, I'll reach out to you. We'll figure this all out and um, we will get you that gift certificate. I have it in an email, send it right over to you. You can use it um, as soon as you get it. The other person uh, is Scott Benson. Uh, scottytherealtor.com right there on the screen right there uh, if he is with Greenhouse Realty he is not only an amazing bartender he is an amazing realtor if you are in the market for buying or selling a house or looking for a place anything of that nature reach out to Scotty he's got your back trust me trust 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 um, so thank you to Bearskin and Scotty for being our um, for being our sponsors. Uh, uh, oh, thank you, Mikey. Yes. Uh, and we'll put that banner up right now. Bam. <laughs> uh, mind you. Okay. I'm going to say this and I'll say this throughout the night. This is just being done to have fun for it to be a good time for us to have something to do on a Monday night. Um, whether you're wherever you're at, whatever's going on for you to be able to enjoy and have a good time. So this is all free to play. If you happen to have a couple of extra bucks and a couple of people already have, um, then feel free to tip. Okay, uh, my handles are, are rolling across the, the bottom of the screen along with our our sponsors, Bearskin and, and Scotty Benson with Greenhouse Realty. Uh, but if you have Venmo, I'm at Pat to Bear. If you have Cash App, dollar sign Pat to Bear. Either of those, but again, I'm not sitting here doing this thinking that I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to finance a, a new home off of tips. I want to be able to have a good time and I want to be able to uh, have a little fun and, and interact with people uh, out there in uh, virtual land and digital digital land. Victor, I miss you too. I'm glad to see that you uh, that you saw my post and you are here for the games. Okay, so I was doing some testing earlier and um, I want to make sure before we get into anything uh, too nutty, I am going to pop this up on the screen 
and I am going to ask for some feedback. I want to make sure that you guys can hear the music being played. Let me know. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds because there is obviously going to be um, a little bit of a delay from when I turned it on here to when you guys see it there. Uh, Steven, it's at Pat DeBear, but my name is Pat O'Rourke. So yeah, I think it comes up with my full name there, but that's me. And I appreciate you. Oh, good. Matthew, you said yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, if at any point in time it is too loud, if at any time it is um, not loud enough, just pop a little uh, comment in there and let me know, and I will adjust. Um, we're testing all of Literally, I've tested this equipment out one time, and that was to play some Mortal Kombat. So I'm thinking that... Okay, awesome. You're hearing it fine. Thank you, Mikey. Um, I'm pretty sure that... My camera might end up being a little slow, but uh, I think everything else will run just fine because I'm already seeing a little bit of a lag there. Uh, I'm trying not to run too much at one time. So um, I think we have we have 11 people that it's saying are watching right now, so we have more than enough. Uh, Twitch is ahead. That, I, I don't understand why that is, but hey, and honestly, a five second lag isn't horrible isn't horrible compared to what uh, some other things are. Um, Brian is watching over on the Twitch channel. So uh, I'm going to pop myself out of the screen. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with our first game of the evening. Actually, you know what? Let's just put me on the screen for a hot second. I'm going to get this started. We are, because I've missed it so, so much, we are going to start the night off with a little trivia murder party. I know, crazy, right? Crazy. But uh, normally that, I always save it for the end because I love it. But we're going to do some classic old school trivia murder party. And I'm going to get the uh, the screen with the room code up here in just a second. And then I'm going to switch it on over. So if y'all are ready to play, by head, I mean, as a, oh, okay, well, I mean, good. So. Uh, we might start suggesting um, for everybody to go watch on Twitch. Again, this is my first time doing anything with Twitch, really. So um, that might be the optimal way to watch it. But we will take it as it goes. So let's play our first game and get our first winner of the night. Your room code is T-L-E-K. T-L-E-K is your room code. Go ahead at jackbox.tv. Get yourself logged in. Oops, sit on my face is a VIP. Oh, I so oh look at that. Come on, Kingster, Rob E, Scott the DJ, Jack My Box. Oh, look, you went back to the Jack My Box. So funny. Quarantina 13, Kiki. And we've got an audience playing. You can hear the music. Can, uh, well, hopefully now that it's a full screen, Umberto, you'll be able to make everything out much better or much easier. So uh, sit on my face as the VIP. Go ahead and hit everyone's in and let's get our first game of the night started. Oh, come on, Steve Moses. Hi. Bum, 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 bum. I've missed these games and I've missed all of you playing them. Oh. I'm so excited that I was able to get this equipment set up and do all of this. Yes, I will probably talk during these games when it's not, um, you know, something important. Wake up! Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a shambling homunculus of pain and regret. But it's got trivia and stuff, and it's fun. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and hey, look, we've got an audience playing along too. At the end of the game, if the audience has less money than the player who wins, everyone in the audience dies. I was told people might like to play it over Twitch, 
I'm not sure what Twitch is, but I like the sound of it. Twitch. But enough of me jawing on. Let's get to the game. Alright, first question. What planet is the nearest in size to the Earth? Use your device to answer the question. That means you weirdos in the audience, too. Oh, let's see who knows their planet sizes. <laughs> Thank you for letting the intro play, Chrissy. I appreciate it. Oh, time's almost up. Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Oh, come on! Correct right, answers. Let's go someplace fun. Let's go to the killing floor. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Where's that poison gonna go, safe players? I could have killed like, and it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. I like saying the word chalice. Makes me feel like someone who wears silk underwear. Ooh. <laughs> I have missed this man so much. Mm, tasty. Now let's see what everyone drank. Oh, Scott the DJ and Matthew. It's going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Our first casualties of the evening. And boom, you're a ghost. But don't go into the light just yet. Ghosts can still win. Even death doesn't get you out of trivia murder party. And now, the scoreboard. Wait, that's supposed to be a scareboard. Dang it. I messed up the joke. Just forget it. It's a scoreboard, okay? It's a scoreboard. Oh, and let's see how the audience is doing. Jeez, audience, you're reminding me why I hate society. How about this? I bet right now you're like, have mercy. Speaking of which, what was Uncle Jesse's last name on Full House? Oh, let's see who watched some Full House, or even some Fuller House on Netflix. Katsopolis, yes. For the rest of you who are still alive, I have a surprise for you. Let's make our way back to the killing Hello, floor. Hello, talk. Welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting game. It's all pretty much there in the title, honestly. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's hard to mess this one up. Ah, ah that it. Boom, 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 Pick a finger. It really doesn't matter. <sighs> Hope you weren't a pianist. P-I-N-I-S-T. This is the scoreboard again. I had thought about having a different scoreboard for each question, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices along the way in game development. Let's try this again. If I shot you in the kneecaps for getting a question wrong, what shattered bone would make you hurt like the dickens? Who knows their bone names? Do you know your bone names? Time's running out! Who picked this? Let's play a game. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. Test your memory. 
See if you can remember the pattern. And done. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? And I will Ooh. kill the weakest one in the pack. Choose those colors wisely. <laughs> and voila! Look familiar? How did you do? You're all equally forgetful. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, a double murder. Double murder. All right, next question. I'm going to a red fair this weekend, and I was hoping to sneak in my own booze. So I'm wondering, what is fermented to make mead? How do you make mead? Time to ring out. And the correct answer is this one. Let's play a game. Oh, honey. It's time for the three R's. Ripping, revulsion, and arithmetic. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Time to get your math on. Get your math on, fellas. You look like you're concentrating too hard. I really think we're going to miss all this nap once it's over. And it's pretty much over now. Oh, Stephen War Moses! I hope you haunt an elementary school so maybe you can learn something. Today's the day. I'm going to look at myself naked in the mirror. I'm not going to chicken out this time. It's going to happen. Next question. Ugh, it's so annoying when fans of something give themselves a nickname like Trekkies or Bronies. Which reminds me, the first annual TMP convention will be held this Sunday. See you there, Stabbies. What sci-fi show's fans are called brown coats? Oh, let's see if our nerds are in the room. Who picked this one? Come on, Firefly. Prepare for your punishment. It's time for a dice game. I'll go first. Ten. Now I need an assistant. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice is yours. Pick if they should roll lower or higher than ten. Well, this is going to be a toss-up. Roll lower than me or you die. Yeah. Oh. So close, yet so far away. Only down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. All it right, Quarantina. You're alive, and it won't be easy to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category: houses in Game of Thrones. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Time 
Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Do you know your shellfish? You better share, because if not, that's mighty shellfish. Come through, Cohog. Las Vegas casinos. Let's see if you're a gambling type. I will make these bad jokes throughout this entire round, don't you worry. A ghost is right on your tail. Watch Ooh, out. Sit on my face is right are there, you nipping at your heels, Quarantina. Mountain Dew flavors. Can you do the do? What flavors are real? Ooh, body snatch! It's the prime time to choose prime numbers. Is there so and a body snatched by Robbie? Island, you glad you know your island nations. That was horrible. I'm sorry, I'll apologize for that now. Madagascar. So much blood. Ooh, sit on my face, stealing that body back. Ostatites. Got that quarantine pasta body. What pasta types are there? Quarantina takes that body right back. Star Wars planets and moons. Is the force with you? Which are planets and moons from Star Wars? Is there. So many kills. Sit on my face, takes the body back. Carnivorous dinosaurs. Which of these dinosaurs were carnivores?
Oh, ghosts are nipping that set on my face's heels. One right answer gets set on my face out the door. He only needed one. And he got it. Sit on my face lives. And the audience lives. Look at that. Good job, audience. All right. Make a note of this right now. Chrissy is our first winner. Great job, Chrissy. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, so uh, let me go mute this for a second. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the first game. First game of Digital Game Night went off without much of a hitch. I'm very happy about that. Um, I know that I'm my stuff is slightly just a bit jittery on this end. Um, I may look at trying to figure out a way to reduce the amount of uh, CPU usage uh, from here on out. But I mean, so far, at least everything is working. Uh, even with some last minute changes that I had uh, 15 minutes before I went live, I was like, okay, well, let's uh, figure out some ways to fix things because they weren't working <laughs> and uh, got them all fixed. Thankfully, doing a uh, an almost five hour live stream. I learned how to uh, quickly maneuver some stuff around. So uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, let's see, let's do some fun stuff. Mm. It is, uh, it is again, time to thank uh, Bearskin for being a sponsor tonight. Go to bearskin.com, that's B-E-A-R-S-K-N.com. They've got some great undies. I'm wearing some right now. I'm not going to try to balance on top of this bar stool in order to show you all that I'm wearing them. So just trust me, I am. They're super comfy. They're super adorable. And um, they have brand new uh, uh, red, white, and blue uh, backwoods print that just came out um, just about a week or so, or July 1st, I think they came out. Super cute. Uh, the grand prize winner for tonight, uh, first ever digital game night hosted by Pat DeBear, uh, will be getting a $25 skin gift certificate so you can go get yourself a pair from them and uh, a big thank you to Scott Benson realtor with greenhouse Realty um, if you are in the market to buy or sell a house or you're looking for some advice check out Scotty the realtor.com and uh, if you are enjoying yourself and you have extra cash I mean you know what I mean not that you know if, if you're working if you are are doing all right, you're paying your bills. And if everything was open, you have money that you would go out and spend at the bar, then feel free to uh, send me a tip. Thank you to those who have already. I very much appreciate it. Um, uh, Scott, Mikey, uh, Chrissy, a few others. Thank you so much. I think Steve Moses, I think um, also sent me a tip. Thank you all so much. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, um, you may want to consider um, because there might be a, a smaller delay going over to our Twitch channel um, and uh, signing up for a free account over there. I just put the Twitch channel um, link in the comments for, uh, for the YouTube page. And um, yeah, so that's twitch.tv forward slash bears in the city. Um, you might get a, a little bit. Um, oh yeah, Matthew, you can send it through Facebook Messenger if you want to. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, honestly, if you if you don't use Venmo or Cash App, um, if you use Zelle, if you do other stuff like that, just hit me up in the comments, and uh, <laughs> that's too much work. Uh, sorry, Chrissy. Maybe later, or you know, we have a special guest coming up in about a half an hour, so um, maybe during that time you can sign up for a free, uh, a free account. Um, I am going to go ahead and I'm back out of this, uh, out of this game. 
don't mind me as I look completely over here. I have uh, my microphone. I'm trying to look around, and I am. Uh, I have my the game screen up on one of my other monitors. So my DSLR is my webcam, which is up here. My computer screen that has everything going on uh, down here. Uh, oh, Frizzell, just use my phone number, Matthew, the 516 number, not the 321 number. We don't use that one, the 516. Um, and if you need to, just text me. You'll find it there. <laughs> uh, and then I've got everything around. So if you see me looking in different places, that's what it is. Let's, we're going to stay in this party pack uh, once it reboots because, you know, that's how the Switch does sometimes. Don't mind me. That's my royalty-free music that I'm using. Um, but I hope y'all are doing uh, well out there. I hope y'all are staying safe, having a good time, sheltering in place, mitigating your risks. Um, I know it, it's very... I've seen a lot of um, posts about the the risk levels and a lot of people saying, well, my experience with this has been fantastic. And I'm glad about that. I'm glad that there are places that you are going that the people are taking very good care and being very conscious of what they're doing and the safety of everybody, but trust that is not the same everywhere. So no, you know, just understand that those, those risks are just kind of all over the place for everybody. So please take care of yourselves. I'm seeing the numbers come out of Florida and I get worried as hell because so many of my chosen family are still in Florida. Um, and even though Chicago is handling it much differently and, and, in my opinion, much better. Um, I'm still very hesitant to go out to a lot of places just because if you saw anything this weekend from the pines or from beaches in certain places, I'm not, I'm not going to contribute to uh, a, a, a backslide. Nothing I need out there that, that important. I'd rather see my friends healthy and safe. So that's just me. But I hope y'all are, are being safe and taking care of yourselves. All right. We are going to play some Quiplash for game two. Enough of my my uh, my TED talk right there. But let me unmute the volume of the game. Switch is behind YouTube now. <laughs> okay. I, see, I knew, I, I knew somehow it was just going to be back and forth. All right, we're going to play some uh, some Quiplash 2. I'm so excited because uh, Jackbox Party Pack 7 is coming out in the fall, and with it comes Quiplash 3. I'm excited to see what little updates they do on that. So let us go ahead. I'm going to uh, do a full screen for the room code, which is XXMJ. XXMJ is your room code. Ooh, Robbie. As our VIP, set on my face, Quarantina, Kingster, Jack My Box. Oh my gosh, big! OnlyFans, Kiki. Oh, look at y'all. Love it. All right, come on and join the audience. Everybody else that is watching and wants to play along. The eight players in the room uh, that have already signed in will be eligible for a prize, but our audience is important. They also will cast votes for their favorites of the quips bum, bum. XXMJ XXMJ I forgot how much I like singing the room codes on a microphone <laughs> I'm sure the rest of you that have been to the Bear Den with me hosting have not missed it but you know that's what's going to happen. All right. We have eight players in the game. We have four that are in the audience. There's a little me again. Hello. All right, Rob E. Go ahead and hit everybody's in, and let's get this game started. As I sip my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> All right, time for Quiplash. Well, 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 everyone's on time for once. I think we all know who I mean. Let's begin. Remember, anybody can join the audience at any point during the game. 
time for round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Two prompts are on your device. Answer them now. For those in the audience, you get a play along a prompt. That will be showing up on your device in just a moment. If you are watching and you have not signed in to be in the audience or to play, go to jackbox.tv and use room code XXMJ to join in the audience and cast your vote for your favorite quip. That's so weird. It's not doing an audience play along. I'm sad about that. <laughs> no, Matthew. Not a not a Coke. No ice. A Dr Pepper. No ice. But lovingly chilled in my refrigerator. Twenty seconds left. Almost out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Use the safety quip if you need to. Only ten seconds left. Let's take a look. Let's Starting see what your off, quips are. A rejected first draft line from The Shining. Here's blank. Okay, select your favorite quip. Here's cum dumpster, or here's your maker. Vote for your favorite quip now. See, I popped on the screen just so y'all can see my reaction when I have to read these. OnlyFans takes the win there with Cum Dumpster. Oh, I'll tell Havoc you say hello, Umberto. He is currently okay, sleeping on the couch. One. The name of a bra for dogs. Get to voting. Little titty bitty bra or cross your paws bra. Mike Oxbeg takes the win there. Coming up next, new high school superlative most likely to blank. <laughs> Get videoed in room 212 or bareback in the bathroom during class change. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> Rob E takes to win there. Moving on. A cute thing a lawyer would say as he cuddles you. Oh. <laughs> Vote on your devices. I've got a pro boner, or want to commit a felony? I feel attacked. And Kiki takes the win there. I, I, listen, that's my favorite one so far, I think. Next prompt. The worst part about sharing a sleeping bag with this player. <laughs> Put in your votes. Vanji or sharing a sleeping bag with Kiki? <laughs> do I know you, Kiki? I would like to know if I do or not. Feel free to leave a comment. <laughs> J. 
Jack My Box takes a win there. The Chicago has changed me, Matthew. Next, a Yelp review a millennial would leave about World War II. It's voting time. <laughs> it was just nasty and lots of killing. Or Hitler's mustache was kind of cute, though. Hashtag. <laughs> Oh, y'all are wrong. Rob E with a super quick flash there. Yes, ma'am. Up next, the worst spring break would feature the wet blank contest. Oh. Oh, Kiki got, got some points there with the titty. And next is a rejected church hymn, Swing Low, Sweet Blank. <laughs> oh, now. Swing Low, Sweet Cheerios, or Swing Low, Sweet Labia. Cast your vote now. <laughs> Chrissy, that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> Sit on my face takes the win there. <laughs> Juicy flavor saver. <laughs> Can't with you. Round one is behind us. Let's see how you scored. Let's see who our tops are. <laughs> <laughs> Rob E, Kiki, and sit on my face in the top three spots. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. All right, two new prompts are on your device. Answer them now. Chrissy is making his own drinks, watching me on his iPad, playing on the laptop, and watching Shark Fest on Nat Geo. This is life. Oh, live your best life, bitch. Umberto, is the buffering getting worse for the whole video um, or just on my screen? Because I know that as I'm watching myself on the screen, it's it, it's getting a bit jittery. Ah, uh, well, now you're leaving, so I don't know. <laughs> Try a different device, Umberta. Sometimes uh, some of the devices don't work as well. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not quite sure what you felt attacked over, Kirsty, but I'm sure it was well deserved. Just about 30 seconds to go before we do our next round of answers hurry <laughs> hit the safety quit button you can't think of something all right let's get to it First off, the hardest part of living forever. The hardest part of living forever. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Seeing Trump become president or wasting away forever. Pick your favorite answer now. I got this Polk County internet lag. Oh, I'm sorry, Robbie. Only fans takes the win there. Next on the list, a great way to spice up baseball is the rule three strikes and you're blank. A bottom? Vote away. <laughs> the new bottom or the bottom? I mean, honestly, we are we're all on the same page here. The bottom or the new bottom? Take your pick. Quarantina takes it with the new bottom. Sorry, Mikey. 
Yum, 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 yum. Moving on. A disturbing thing to see your kid making out of clay. <laughs> set vote. Chrissy or a very large dildo. Both disturbing. Both disturbing. <laughs> the new bottom smell is always a good thing, Matthew. Set on my face takes the win. I love that the Chrissy answer went up against Chrissy himself, so that makes me, that makes me extremely Next giddy. That, a rejected title for Hitler's book, Mein Kampf. Okay, vote. I saw his gore balls, or try, trying getting a rim job with this sash. Y'all are horrible. And that's why I enjoy doing this. Next up, a weird Tom Hanks Meg Ryan movie, Sleepless in Blank. Sleepless in Toy Story Tom Land Tom. or Sleepless in Room 212. Seen the stuff that goes on in room 212. It is sleepless. Mike Oxpig takes the win there. <laughs> yes, you won either way, Chrissy. Your next prompt is, after high school, kids get the book, Oh, the Places You'll Go. After college, they should get, Oh, the Places You'll Blank. <laughs> Vote now. Never Go or Bareback. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, we're going to take a break here in a minute for the special guest, and I'm going to see if I can putz around with some stuff to uh, try to make this lag not so bad. So bear with us for uh, this game, and we'll see what we can do. Next in the hopper, in the year 2085, blank will be the American currency. Put in your votes. Pure refined cum or dick secretion. Interesting. That is a 50 50 tie right there. And next, the worst thing to hear from your spouse I'm leaving you for blank. Vote away Donald Trump or Kiki. Set on my face takes the win there. <laughs> Round two's done. Let's see who's winning now. Let's see who our tops are. <laughs> Set on my face, Rob E and Kiki are our top three players. Going into Round three. This the is the last lash. lash. The last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. Oh, it's a comic lash. You know how much we love those. Finish writing this comic. All right, let's go full screen. We got a, we got a man on a horse saying, let's go on an adventure. What do you say, Rusty? Rusty the horse responds with blank. Fill in your response for Rusty now. The large man on the horse says, let's go on an adventure. What do you say, Rusty? While Rusty the horse responds with blank. Oh. 
<laughs> Good to know, Matthew. Good to know. Time to take a look. Okay, Let's... in round three, you get to award three medals. Gold, oh. silver, and bronze. Have at it. Let's go to this one. I say, let me get on your back. Only if I'm wearing Pat's used bearskin undies. Yours for a very low price. As long as you keep that finger out of me. I'm not into bestiality. Rust requires lube. Fuck yeah, let's head to Bearfest. <laughs> I told you my name is not fucking Rusty, or your vagina is crushing me. Pick your favorites now. Just a couple more seconds. Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. Bronze, silver, and gold. Let's translate that into points. Oh, come on, Kingster. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. Ooh, OnlyFans is our winner. Game two winner right there. Yes. All right. Let me mute this. And I am, um, let's see if this helps a little bit. Okay. That seems to at least be a little bit better right this second. And I make a note of this for our next winner. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, all right. And uh, Chrissy is saying that the lag is uh, a bit better over on Twitch. Don't forget, if you would like to, go over to twitch.tv forward slash Bears in the City. That is our brand new Twitch channel. We are streaming there as well as to YouTube. Um, I appreciate. Oh, that's your friend, Steven, Mikey. Oh, awesome. Congratulations, Steven. I know these names from when Mikey was hosting um, Orlando Game Night Home Edition but I, I still haven't pieced everybody together. So awesome. Congratulations. Your name is now in the running for a uh, our grand prize, a $25 Bearskin gift certificate, courtesy of our sponsor, Bearskin. Go to bearskin.com and check out all of their lovely product. Our show is also sponsored by Scott Benson of Greenhouse Realty. If you're in the market to buy or sell a house, visit scottytherealtor.com. Sorry, I'm obligated to say these things, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, so one of the things that I wanted to do um, to, to kind of make this a little different, a little interesting, um, and also, again, to highlight some of uh, the people that I deeply care about that are being affected by the pandemic um, that we are currently in, and uh, that are those people are my bartender friends. So I would like to uh, give a big warm welcome to our first guest as our guest bartender. Because, I mean, you're sitting at your own home. You don't have the, the full experience of being in the bar with us to play these games. I know I miss it. Um, so I'm bringing a guest bartender to make a cocktail for you. And uh, our first digital game night Guest bartender is the one and only, the incomparable, the amazing Addison Taylor. Hi, Addy. Oh, hello. Hello. How's it going over there in Orlando? Going pretty good. How about you? It's uh, it's it's going. I it's been very warm here. I know it doesn't compare to Orlando because the humidity is not ridiculous. Um, but it's almost ninety degrees here, and I now walk my dog repeatedly. So where I used to never step foot outside in Orlando during the day, now I'm actually out and about and uh, and sweating my balls off. So, <laughs> I, I, but I love it though. I love it. I absolutely love Chicago, and I can't. I can't wait to until like all this is over, so y'all can come and visit. Right. I um I love that you love Chicago, and I also hate it because you're not here. But I also hate the heat for you. So um just know that uh any in, we're in, we're in the Florida season now of just fucking Satan's asshole. So it's five billion goddamn degrees, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. And I don't know if you've read the paper, but the world's on fucking fire. So 
here we are. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm. my least favorite part of all of this is that the world is on, <laughs> is on um, fire. Yeah. Uh, Chrissy's showing the love over here. Fuck her. Fuck her. Yes, mayo. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, I am going to uh, I'm going to give the the show over to your virtual bartender. Now, please, now remember, if you are able to, feel free to throw some digital coins on my dresser. Um, but at this time, I'm going to hand the show over to um, Miss Addison Taylor, and Addie is going to be our bartender. So, like I would say at any game night that I'm hosting. Make sure you tip your bartender. And uh, Addie, take it away. What are you going to make for the children today? Well, you know, because I am a professional at making terrible decisions, I've decided to make both a cocktail and a shot. Um, and because I can't give them to any Ooh. of you, that means that I'm going to drink them here myself. So what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with my cocktail. So in my uh, cup, I've got ice. I've got the fancy reusable ice cubes. And my drink of choice when I'm going for a cocktail is Stoli crushed strawberry. So Ooh. we're gonna do one shot ish. <laughs> we'll do a little bit more. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one shot of Stoli strawberry. And then I like to use a little bit of Red Bull. So we've got a delicious Stoli crushed strawberry and Red Bull. It's delightful. It tastes like summer. It's incredible. And then for a shot, I, um, so I hosted my trivia show on Thursday and I might've been intoxicated um, when I finished, which is no surprise. I made the mistake of going to the liquor store when I was drunk. And you know how they say, don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry. You should not go to the liquor store when you have been drinking um, because I spent $120 on whiskey. So uh, the shot that I'm going to make, I've got my little shaker here with some ice inside. I'm going to do a shot of screwball peanut butter whiskey. We're going to just use the rest of the bottle. <laughs> and we're going to add, I've never had this before, but I'm intrigued. It's Ballotin chocolate whiskey. So we've got peanut butter and we're going to add chocolate. In my head, this is going to be like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Should be delicious. Uh, I'm not going to shake it because I just want it to be lightly chilled. So I'm going to stir it in my ice, pour it into a cup. And now we drink. So if you have a cocktail and you're playing uh, Orlando Game Night, ladies and gentlemen, put your cocktails up to the screen. Normally, we would say something uh, clever, but... Um, no one goes to a bar to stay sober, so you're at home. You shouldn't be sober. Cheers. That is delicious. I approve. That is a peanut butter cup. And now we chase it with a little summer strawberry cocktail. Drink responsibly. I hear there's a DUI checkpoint. Oh, that just got me. There's a DUI checkpoint between the kitchen and your bedroom, so be, be careful. Ta-da. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, the DUI checkpoint between the kitchen and the bedroom is probably the worst thing that has been installed in my house. Mm -hmm. It's you know what? You you raise them up the best you can and hope that they don't disappoint you. But I have found that um my tolerance for liquor is a lot lower now that I'm at home. I oh it's I don't honestly I will say this. I'm actually not even drinking tonight. Partially because um, <laughs> Chrissy is saying he can't get pulled over in the kitchen again. Be careful, my friend. Be careful. Right. <laughs> um, so uh, for those who don't know, I also run a podcast called Flame On. And every other week now, we've been recapping uh, Drag Race All-Stars. And um, so we did our, our most recent episode. We recorded it yesterday. I didn't eat in the morning. I didn't eat in the afternoon and kind of forgot that. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yesterday was messy, <laughs> but it was fun. Don't lie. It was fun. Uh, I, I hadn't eaten. 
took havoc out for his walk fed him was working on stuff trying to get this stuff all ready forgot that we were even doing the podcast until like 25 minutes beforehand went and uh made myself a cocktail and i will tell you this i knew it was going to be bad when i wasn't paying attention and almost filled the entire cup with bacardi limon uh, and your and you your body is completely used to Bacardi Limon because that's your that's your spirit of choice. That is, and so I legit like poured some out, and then continued to make my cocktail, and then continued to drink it with no food in my stomach whatsoever. <laughs> oh god, I I hate that journey for you, but it was a good fucking time guaranteed. No no story that's worth telling ever starts with I had a salad or I was at a bar and I was sober. So, you know, you're doing it. I'm proud of you. I appreciate it. I appreciate coming from you. That is the highest praise I can get. So. <laughs> Very good. I, um, I I like to make bad decisions and I like to share those bad decisions with my friends. So if I can help ruin your life just a little bit, that's what I'm here for. Mazel. <laughs> All right, dear folks. Um, so don't forget, you can catch Addy on Thursday nights doing the quarantine quiz show. Um, you have Dirty Bingo coming up, correct? I, or I've, got, we, um, I've got two two porn star bingos coming up in July, so it's going to be the 12th and then two weeks after that. So uh, just go ahead and look at my Facebook page. Tickets will go on sale on Wednesday for both of those events. Um, and if you don't know what porn star bingo is, it's where I play bingo on Zoom with adult film stars, and they basically um, jerk off. So it's a good time. <laughs> Uh, let me do. Oh. Uh, gonna add that, and we're gonna put that. Um, go to addisontaylor.com, brand new website. She's got the merch. Ad the Addison Taylor. Oh, oh. <laughs> let me have that real quick. Let me just. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's her. Go to theaddisontaylor.com. Uh, merch is up there. Uh, schedule of events and things. And, and go and support Addy. Dear friend of mine. Always willing to help out. Always willing. To, I, I'd thrown out um, a couple of texts because I, I was going to try and get some of my uh, previous game night uh, bartenders in first and then start. So this is going to be a thing that we're going to do every week. We're going to cycle through. We're going to go ahead and... Um, I want to have a a bartender come in and do this kind of little this little bit um, just to have some fun, break up the games a little bit, and Absolutely. to uh, get some virtual tips. So um, I had reached out to a couple of the guys in the Bear Den because we've had a couple of uh, game night hosts over the last six or seven years, and um, I didn't get any messages back. So about an hour an hour and change before before we went live, I messaged Addy. I was like, "Hey, what are you doing around ten o'clock?" <laughs> and here Addison is. So. Right. Go support Addy. Thank you for being our first uh, virtual bartender here on Digital Game Night. We appreciate you. My pleasure. And remember, you always remember the first. I know. This is so exciting. I, fantastic. Well, you enjoy the rest of your evening. Everybody that's watching, go follow Addison Taylor. Go uh, follow on Facebook. Go follow on Instagram. All of those channels. And go to theaddisontaylor.com to keep up. Go buy tickets for Porn Star Bingo. Um, the last couple times you had done it, I was asleep really early and um, I was falling asleep at like 11 p.m. So I didn't stay up for them, but I I'm, made I'm, moving them, I'm moving them earlier now. So they're now at 9 p.m. Eastern on Sundays because I heard that people were not normally on the Lord's Day. People like to drink a little bit. And a midnight show is asking a whole lot for people who do nothing but drink for 24 hours. So the the new and improved time is at 9 p.m. So you can be wasted and you can uh, watch these men play with their balls. <laughs> um, did you hear that, Matthew? My friend Matthew over on the West Coast. He is he is uh, a purveyor of fine um, adult film entertainers. So go to theaddisontaylor.com. Wednesday tickets go on sale, Matthew. And it's only 6 p.m. on the West Coast. So, I mean, you still have the entire rest of your night to go. Basically brunch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, Addy, thank you so much, and uh, we will catch up soon. Thank you. I love you. Love you, too. Mwah. Bye. Bye. All right. <coughs> oh.
Yes, that was so much fun. Thank you, Addison Taylor, for being our first virtual bartender. Okay, so let us go ahead. I'm going to pop the screen share back up, and hopefully we have uh, cut down the lag a bit. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Um, we're going to play some Mortal Kombat now. Just kidding. No, we're not. But let's go ahead and do... Where is it? Let's go into Party Pack 4. YouTube is like a second behind switch. Oh, okay. That's not too bad then. Hopefully. Keep me posted on that, Chrissy. I appreciate it. For those of you that are out there watching and uh, playing along, we're going to play our next game. Hopefully this lag doesn't get too crazy. Yeah. Too cray, cray, cray. Bump, 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 bump. If you're enjoying yourself tonight, I am so happy. Um, legit, like, I'm not gonna get. I, I'm not gonna get emotional here. Um, but I've been in Chicago now for three months. I miss my my chosen family in Florida. I didn't. I knew I was gonna miss hosting, um, but I also kind of figured there wouldn't be a pandemic going on, and that I would be able to, um, you know, have found a job, and would have things going at a much different pace and a much different uh, vibe right now than we currently have. Um, so when everything kind of shut down in, uh, well, actually when the bars reopened in Florida and everything moved off of digital and back to um, listening on Twitch and commenting on the YouTube. Good job, Chrissy. Um, the, uh, when everything went, uh, when Mikey went from doing Orlando Game Night Home Edition back to the bar, I was like, okay, I'm going to get some stuff and I'm going to do this. Um, we're going to do this uh, online. I was gonna pick a different night, whatever, and 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 do all this because I miss doing this. And um, with not having something else to focus on, this was really kind of the thing that I wanted to uh, to get back into doing. So I was very excited to do it when um, the bars closed down again in Florida. Uh, Mikey wasn't able to do um, the first Monday after the bars closed, and I wasn't prepared. And I told him, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and get back into doing this, you know, I'll pick a different night if, if anything. And he was like, you know what, just go ahead and do it. Um, you know, Bubba's is back open, which I'm thankful that, you know, he's working and that they're taking all their precautions and doing all of that. Um, so this came about. So I'm excited to be back here with all of you. So thank you for joining us on this maiden voyage of digital game night. Um, so even one, once the, uh, the bars reopen and stuff, um, depending on, on my schedule and everything on when I get situated, with the job up here, then um, I I still want to do this because I enjoy doing this with uh, with all of you. So that's my little my little thank you there. Um, if you are so inclined, if you are uh, able to, um, tips are always appreciated. You can find me on Venmo at Pat Dubair and um, on Cash App at Dollar Sign Pat Dubair. If you are on Zelle, I'm on there also. PayPal, all of that kind of stuff. So. Um, in the meantime, let's get back to playing some games. So we are going to play a little Fibbage 3, Fibbage 3. I'm going to get this set up and uh, listening on Twitch commenting on YouTube. I love it, Chrissy. So ingenuitive. Not a word. You would think I was drunk again. Fibbage 3. I miss singing along to Fibbage 3 in the bar. Let's get her brand. Let's get her on the screen. Myself all branded up here. All right. Your room code is O I N A. O I N A for game number three. Fibbage 3. We got Curling Bear, Kiki, Sit on My Face. Kingster69, Scott the DJ, Jack My Box, OnlyFans, and Quarantina13, dinner and dessert. <laughs> I Sometimes I miss the comments that y'all put in there and then I eventually get back to them, so I'm, I'm excited. 
We have one person in the audience right now. If you would like to join the audience, use room code OINA at jackbox.tv. And sometimes I ramble a little bit, so I apologize. We're going to give it just another couple of seconds. Let some people get into the uh, into the audience. Thank you to everybody that has sent a tip so far tonight. I appreciate you very, very much. Curling Bear, Brian, go ahead and hit everybody's in and let's get this game started. I am your host, Cookie. I'm also a son, a brother, and a partner. But first and foremost, I'm a storyteller. Eight players. Hey, you know what might be fun? You guys host, and I'll play the game, right? Okay, maybe uh, next time. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Let's go. This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll get a cool thousand for finding the truth. All right, choose a category. Kingster 69, choose your category. Uh, you see, you can't be bothered. All right, we'll get some liberal arts All questions. Right, question one. Reed College in Oregon is the only liberal arts college in the world with a student-run blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that might just fool your fellow players into thinking it's the truth. If you can't come up with something, use the lie for me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Do it now. All right. Enter a very convincing lie. Reed College in Oregon is the only liberal arts college in the world with a student-run blank. Come up with a lie that will make other people choose it so you get some points. Hurry! Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. So here are your choices. Look for the truth and tap it on your device. Lacrosse team, communal toilet, monarchy, nuclear reactor, faculty, cocktail hour, morgue, glory hole, or space station. Which do you think is the truth? Let's see how things shook out. Kiki getting some points there. Kingster got some points. Oh, Curling Bear and the You're audience. Guaranteed to see as long as you don't cause a Godzilla. Don't forget, everybody, take a look at your device because that will show your answers with the time, uh, all the time hey, allotted. Check out this thing I found. Ooh, time to look at this. The title of this 18th century piece is The Monkey Blank. Type in your lies now. Hmm. The Monkey Blank. Come up with a good bluff. Write something quick or use a lie for me button. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. T 
teaches, tries carpentry, learns Spanish, most foul, like seesaws, gets beaten in a bush, party from France, or splitter. All right, who picked what? I was going to laugh if it was learn Spanish. <laughs> Tries carpentry. All right. I'm hearing uh, that the the browser isn't refreshing. When you have a second, try to refresh your browser. Don't close it. Just refresh it and see if that works. Shakespearean. Here's a question for you. In 2014, an unusual Shakespeare adaptation premiered in London titled King Lear with Blank. Okay, enter your lies. In 2014, an unusual Shakespeare adaptation premiered in London titled King Lear with Blank. Enter your fibbage now. Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, which one's the truth? The queen, a prostitute, a harem, his queen, sodomy, sheep, a monkey in a bush, a whip, or a Roomba? Ooh, everybody answered. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> Come on, Scott Robert. Ooh, Kiki with the good points. Oh, they took the bait on that one. <laughs> Oh, Kingster getting some points there. That monkey was hysterical. Sit on my face getting points. Sodomy. Felicio. Just like kitten with a whip. It on my face wasn't just the sheeple. Needed help putting you to sleep. Curling bear Kiki and OnlyFans in the top three spots. Get ready for round two, where all the points are doubled. Okay, pick a category. All right, OnlyFans, pick your category. Japanese rentals. And the question is, at Japan's odd Osan rental, you can rent blank. Enter your lies now. Enter your lies now. At Japan's odd Osan rental, you can rent blank. Come up with a good lie. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. I purposely have my camera off so that way you can't see me dancing to the music in the background. Okay, seek the truth. Refurbished condoms, old men, a rickshaw, men by the hour, children, a masseuse, a monkey in a bush, leather kimono, or recent divorcees. Okay, what did everyone pick? Sit on my face, getting points there.
personally, I recommend upgrading to a younger model. If I get a cut of the money, maybe I'll go over there. <laughs> We're Time to pick yeah, a category. I love it. Kiki, what is your category going to be? Toothbrushes. Try this one. Before the modern toothbrush was invented in 1938, toothbrush bristles were made from blank. All right, type in your lies. Come up with your best lie. Before the modern toothbrush was invented in 1938, toothbrush bristles were made from blank. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. Bottom, 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 bottom. All right, find the truth. Is it hay, candied ham, thistle, moth wings, corn cobs, pig hair, a bush with a monkey in it, broccoli florets, or horse hair? This monkey is going to follow us throughout this entire game. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, Scott the DJ. Oh, Curling Bear getting all those points. Also... Oh, ants on my face. And can you believe it? It was also... <laughs> what? Come on, Jack My Box. And this is getting nuts, but it was also... Oh, lordy. <laughs> Come on, OnlyFans. Was that planned? <laughs> Kiki getting points there. Oh, come on, sit on my face. You bristle toothbrushes today or just rub your face on a pig after every meal. Let's see who our tops are now. Sit on my face, Curling Bear, and OnlyFans are in the top three spots. Give Scott the DJ, pick your category. Let's see how this strikes you. Neil Armstrong once threatened to sue a man if he didn't return the astronauts blank. Write your lies now. Neil Armstrong once threatened to sue a man if he didn't return the astronauts blank. Come up with a convincing lie. Get more points. Collusion. I love it. If y'all weren't in different states and whatnot, I would right, totally think y'all were cheating. Me, button, if you can't Just think kidding. Of something. Okay, where's the truth? <laughs> Monkey in the bush. Calls. Pen. Helmet. Golf cart. Teddy bear. Socks. Hair. Or squatty potty. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Oops, sit on my face, getting more points. <laughs> Good job, Kiki. Only fans getting some points there. Kingster racking up points. Jack my box getting some points there from the audience. 
Oh, good job, Quarantina. Armstrong's barber sold his hair clippings without permission for $3,000, which probably means this moon hair I bought for ten grand is fake. Damn, I want to go sell some moon hair now. Sit on my face, OnlyFans and Curling Bear in the top three. As we prepare for the final this is the fibbage. final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. When a pet cat died in ancient Egypt, its owners had a weird way of mourning. They would blank their blank. Answer your lies now. When a pet cat died in ancient Egypt, its owners had a weird way of mourning. They would blank their blank. Fill in those blanks with some good lies and get yourself some points. Make your final grab for the top spot and a chance at winning our prize this evening. Hurry, use the live for me button if you're stuck. Oh, everybody got their answers in. Let's see All what right, we got. Where's the truth? Mummify their body, wear their fur, mummify their eyeballs, swap their spouses, wrap up their pussy, put their monkey in a bush, dye their cat, eat their cat, shave their eyebrows, or cut their heads off. I love this part. Oh, check my box getting some points there. Oh, good job, Kiki. Oh, look at that OnlyFans. Wow, that was very persuasive. Good job, Quarantina. <gasps> Look at that. Getting points and finding the truth, sure Quarantina. The crazy cat lady next door draws hers on. So the most drag queens I know have uh, recently lost the cat. Repeatedly. Ah, oh, look at that. With a strong come from behind win. Only fans. Oh, Kiki getting 10 likes out there. Look at you go. Good job, Kiki. All right. Let me know, guys, uh, out there watching. Do you still hear the music right now? I'm just trying to figure out something real quick while I make a note. I lied to you. You lied to me. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two wins in a row. You can still hear the music? Thank you. Okay. Well, good to know. I just want to make sure it's piping through my um, my virtual mixer. So that might actually also help a little bit with uh, trying to not get the lag go. going so much there. Oh, Matthew, you don't even understand. We we used to sing this so much, and you can actually go on to, I think it's on Bandcamp, um, the soundtracks to the party packs, the Jack Fox party packs are all there, and this song is available to purchase. Pivage <laughs> 3, put it in me. All right. Oh, this is gonna, okay, thank you. Mirakusama37 over on Twitch. Um, and just a heads up, if you, uh, hello on Twitch, enjoy, hi. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, uh, Brian over on the West Coast uh, sent me a little video clip. He's got like 14 screens going with everything. And um, there was uh, a, a noticeable uh, lag on YouTube where Twitch was probably close to it sometimes. Oh, it's on Apple Music too? Oh, thank you, Mikey. Um, 
So if you are having um, trouble getting enough time to answer some of these questions, go over to twitch.tv slash bears in the city and um, make a quick account. I think you can either attach like a Google account or your Facebook account and um, and watch. Uh, I will not do this. <laughs> um, I enjoy this so much. I wish that I could have you guys in the room and do this. Although StreamYard has now upped uh, their on-screen um up to 10 people no longer just i think six or eight i think it was six before now it's up to 10 so maybe uh maybe we'll bring some people in and, and we can chat i don't know we'll figure it out you got drunk and turned to chinese food mikey good job appreciate it uh da -da 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 -da. okay uh <laughs> so we back out of this uh, I think we have time. We're going to play two more games. We'll get a total of five in for tonight. Uh, we're going to go until 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central, 11, 10, 8 on the West Coast. The actual game you keep refreshing. Everyone is different by connection. I'm watching and listening to both, and they match up. Oh, okay. Uh, the PayPal... Um, I haven't really plugged it, but the PayPal is um, paypal.me forward slash bears in the city. I'll put that real quick in case. I appreciate that. Ba -da -da. If you uh, are so inclined and you are a PayPal user, um, feel free paypal.me forward slash bears in the city. That is uh, how you can tip me there. If you're on Venmo, at Pat DeBear. Uh, if you're on Cash App, dollar sign Pat DeBear. Um, if you want to figure out a different way to send me a tip, Zelle or whatever, let me know. We'll figure it out. Any and all tips are very much appreciated. Um, you guys having fun is really what I'm more concerned about right now. Um, but tips are always appreciated. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to do one that's going to be fun and entertaining for everyone. Um, if you are, no matter what you're on, if you're on Twitch or you are on YouTube, um, if you want, you can uh, pop a little comment into, uh, listen, I don't have a PO box anymore, Michael. I'm sorry. Um, almost any way that you can send me payments. I did, however, when I was um, unpacking one of my totes, I found my P.O. Box key today, which I apparently never um, gave back to the post office. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're not going to play Pokemon Shield. Oh, thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate that. It's so weird. I'm, I'm new to Twitch. So having uh, people find the channel and, and watch along is, uh, is really, really cool to me. Um, I hope to do more of this stuff in the uh, not too distant future. All right, I think because um, we're enjoying a uh, a bit of old schoolness in this right now. Oh, uh, thank you, Stephen. I appreciate you so much, and I'm so I'm glad to be doing this again. Honestly, like I'm not not joking in any way, shape, or form that I. Sincerely have missed hosting and, and being with all of y'all um, out there in, uh, in, the, in the world. And I am really excited once um, this pandemic is over and it's safe to come and visit because I want people to come visit me here in Chicago. Well, thank you, Stephen, for the tip. I appreciate that. We're going to go for some guest espionage. I'm going to pull this off the screen for a hot second. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, and, we're, and I'm doing this while I am sober. Just imagine like next week when I decide to have a cocktail or two while doing this, I will have eaten. So it'll be less messy than um, the podcast that you you'll hear if you listen. <laughs> All right. Our next game is Gespionage. And your room code is K-I-A-C. K-I-A-C is your room code. Join in. Ooh, yeah. mm-hmm, bitch pudding. Oh, yeah. Cooker Kaka. Quarantina, Kiki, Sean Sheep, OnlyFans, sit on my face. 
high five. My fun new name. I love it. The winner of the four days, four nights, all inclusive vacation. Quarantina, pick your avatar. Is Agent Aleto. We've got two people in the audience. Okay, so I will say this. This game is less fun for the audience. I apologize in advance. Uh, I know woohoo, Chantel is here. I love it. Um, the, I, I am not saying don't join the audience. Um, what it will do for the audience is ask you the same question and you'll answer whether like yes or no to the question. If five or more people before everything is, um, before all the votes are cast, has voted from the audience, then the okay, answer will go by the audience vote. If, hold on, let me, here, let me pop back on screen here for a hot second. There we go. So with the audience, if the audience has five or more people in it and they cast their votes, um, then the answer will go by that vote. If not, then it's going to go by the uh, World Wide Web or whatever, like the, the global data, as it's called in the game. So when we start playing, keep an eye at the top left-ish of the screen, I, somewhere, somewhere in this area, and it will say using global data, or it may switch over and say using um, audience data. Um, Oh, T just got Robert over there. Oh, hi with the little Pika. Come on, Pika Pika. Um, if you do you play Pokemon Go, you can add me. I'll I'll put my number in there at some point in time. We'll do that another point. Um, but yeah, so if you want to just kind of hang out and watch, if you want, oh now an octopus. Look, Twitch has got all these fun things over there. Uh, but, but no matter what you wanna what you wanna do, if you're in the audience, but the eight players that are playing, um, will be eligible for a prize. So I am going to pop the screen back up like this. I'm going to do full screen for right now when we get in. Uh, bitch Puddin, Miss Chantel Roche, go ahead and hit everybody's in and let's get this game of Gaspionage started. Hello from the government. Feel free to wave. We're watching everything. People eating ice cream, ice cream eating people, you name it. This is very sensitive info. We've sworn to protect. <laughs> Sorry, hard to say that straight. We use it to play. Yes, be an Looks like you have an audience. Let's start surveillance on them right now. We'll be asking questions specifically about them if we collect enough data. Otherwise, we'll use what we already have. Now, let's administer some fun. Okay, who's first? All right, my fun new name. Let's see. What would be good? How about this? Oh, desktop wallpaper. What percentage of people use images of their pets as wallpaper for their desktops or phones? Make it a good guess. You'll get more points the closer your guess is to the actual percentage. Oh, and don't forget to answer the question too, audience. Every answer counts. Okay, we have a guess. 39%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Do you think it's higher or lower than 39%? Just one person says lower. Okay, right answer is... 11%! Oh! Solidly mediocre. Who said lower? Well done. You get points. Come on, Kukur. Next up. <laughs> what should I'm I one of those people, the by the way. Pro next? Ooh, I know. Ooh, first dates, bitch pudding. What percentage of people when setting up first dates rely on familiar go-to places? Familiar go-to places on first dates. Like Hanks, where everybody knows your name. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Higher or lower than 76%. What do y'all think? I hear you. I hear you. Do you hear the monkey in the bush? 
Three up. <laughs> High five. Most people said lower. And Surveil says... 69%. Oh, so it's close, bitch put in. McDonald's cashier recognizes you. McDonald's cashier, Hank's bartender, whatever. Right. Here's some points. <laughs> okay, who's up next? Ooh, I remember seeing oh. good surveillance for this yesterday. All right, OnlyFans. Oh, big feet. You know what they say about big feet? Big shoes. What percentage of people believe Bigfoot is real? What percentage of people believe Bigfoot is real? Eighteen percent. All right. What do you think? Y'all think it's higher or lower than eighteen percent? Cast your votes now. Running out of time. <laughs> People are saying lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 26%. Wow, them, 26%. Sure let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Who's next? We collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people have cried at weddings other than their own? All right, Kiki, what percentage of people have cried at weddings other than their own? What do you think? Sixty-six percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Higher or lower than sixty-six percent. What y'all think? I hear you. High five. <laughs> Hurry up. People are thinking it's lower, and the correct answer is. 40%. Oh, only 40%. Green card weddings. Yes, it happens. Who got it right? Here's some points. All right. And Look at those points here? adding up. Great answer. Double points for saying much lower. Oh, good job, Sean Sheep. Bitch put him with 3,300, only fans with 32. Set on my face and Sean Sheep right, with 3,000. What percentage of people have eaten tater tots in the past month? Ooh, come on, tater tots. Are the TV shows about tater tots, Chrissy? They probably are. Time now. 19%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Higher or lower than 19%. Mm -hmm. I will say I am part of part of whatever percentage this is. I have had tater tots in the past month. They were delicious. Up your food channel. Everyone yeah. thinks it's higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 37%. 37%. Very nice. Respectable guess. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you. Everybody getting it right there. Good job. Okay, who's up next? Secrets. Secrets. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. Ooh, embarrassing videos. What percentage of people usually cringe rather than laugh at videos of people being embarrassed? Sixty-nine percent. Okay, higher or lower? <laughs> 
I see where your mind is. I hear you. Mm -hmm. High five. Just one of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... 59%. Ooh, 59%. You were pretty close. Nice. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. And what have oh. we here? Ah, that's too bad. That answer was closer than 15%. Shouldn't have doubled down. Who's next? Sit on my face. Typey, typey. What percentage of people's DVD or Blu-ray collections are currently organized in alphabetical order? Currently organized in alphabetical order. DVD or Blu-ray collection. Don't call it a comeback. Come on. 34%. Okay. Higher or lower? Higher or lower than 34%. What do y'all think? Miro Kusama, where are you watching from? Most of you are saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Ooh, 27%. so close, Because Chrissy. American Pie should be the first movie you see in someone's collection. Quarantina and let's Sean Sheep right. getting points there. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Oh, you're in Orlando. All right, there you go. Next up. High five. I don't know. How about... Oh, kittens versus puppies. What percentage of people find kittens cuter than puppies? Let's see how divided this room gets. Lock in your guess. 36%. 36%. Everyone picks higher or lower. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? What percentage of people find kittens cuter than puppies? 36%. Higher or lower? Only serial killers. Chrissy. You know Odin was adorable. What do you think? Higher? The majority say lower. And the correct answer is... 42%. 42%. Nice. That'll help her score. Who got it right? Nice job. I've got some points for you. Sit on my face, bitch uh -oh. pudding, uh -oh. and OnlyFans are in the top three spots. We faked dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. Which other planet in our solar system is the favorite of Earthlings, other than Earth? Now let's see the answers. But only the top three answers will get you points. Ready? Go! What other planet the is, how you answer is the, the question, favorite of Earthlings? Neptune, points. Pluto, Venus, the Sun, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Saturn, or Uranus? Don't forget to use all three of your picks. All right, let's see what everyone picked. Let's see what y'all chose. Pluto, Venus, the Sun, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, and Uranus. Now let's take a look at the results. Ooh, Jupiter in third, Mars in second. And Saturn is the top pick. All right. Let's see how those points. I know, and right? The sun. The is. But you knew people had to say it if it was on there. Oh, sit on my face. Narrowly edging it out by 3,000 points. Hey, you're a winner. Tell you what, no federal income tax for the next three years. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I wouldn't trust that no federal tax for three years. You don't want to pull a Wesley Snipes. All right, so that's four games down. So far, it's a 50-50 shot for Sit On My Face and uh, OnlyFans to take the grand prize. <gasps> Odin was not also... Well, okay, fine. Odin sometimes was an asshole, but you don't speak ill of, of my dead cat, okay? <laughs> Caspionage is your game, yes. Love it. I was going through my stuff, and I, I found his, uh, his little kitty paw print and made me so sad today. But it's a nice reminder, and uh, he's always on my he's always on my screen when I uh, open up my phone. So can't miss him because he's always there with me. All right, hope y'all are enjoying this. We have one more game to go. We're gonna be doing this every Monday night. Um, he's cute and fluffy and in charge and an asshole. All right, fine. I miss my melancholy cat very much. Very much. Uh, we're gonna be doing this every Monday night, uh, streaming live to Twitch and to YouTube. Um, I think overall the consensus is that Twitch is um, running a little bit better, um, but depending on how you refresh and all of that, uh, YouTube is also a, uh, a viable uh, platform to watch everything. I also strongly suggest keep an eye on your um, whatever device you're playing on, uh, because that is tied to the servers. Let me mute this real quick. That is not um, that is not based off of my internet connection or my computer um, running slow or anything like that. So keep an eye on your device if you're playing. Um, make sure that you are um, that you are keeping an eye on that for answers to pop up and things of that nature. So uh, we've got one more game for y'all before we call it a night and we pick our grand prize winner. Uh, I have. The four winners' names so far on these little pieces of paper, all folded up the same way into little little rectangles like this. Um, you know, you know that's right. Trivia Murder Party Two is coming at you, BHS. You know, it's the the last game of the night. That means it's got to be Trivia Murder Party. Some things never change in my book. Um, but we're going to do this every Monday night. Um, all tips are appreciated. If you don't have the money to tip, don't feel obligated to. Um, my Cash App and Venmo are uh, Pat DeBear. If you are a uh, if you are a PayPal person, you can do PayPal.me uh, forward slash Bears in the City. And um, uh, yeah, so enjoy, have fun. Hopefully you all are drinking. Uh, remember, we're going to have around 10 o'clock Eastern time during the games. Uh, we'll have a guest bartender. Um, and yeah, this is just, it's been fun. So thank you so much for those of you who have tipped uh, tonight. I appreciate you all. Um, I hope you all are staying safe wherever you are at. I know we've got a bunch of Orlando people in here. we got some West Coasters. Um, I haven't seen Matthew comments in a while. Um, hopefully he hasn't gotten too drunk. Um Maybe he had to go take his puppy up for a walk. Um, but to those of you that I know, hi, hello. Uh, to those of you I don't know, hey, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for the tips and uh, for just having a good time. So, and we'll see as uh, as all of this continues to go on and whatnot. Um, we'll see about maybe doing a little bit more, getting some more people into the rooms and having fun with all of that. Um Hold on one second, everybody. Let's see. Just sending this link on over. A couple of our players. Oh, my fun new name was was Matthew. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still the <behind. laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, yes, I, I will probably be drunk next week, or at least a little inebriated. Um, I, I, not having a, a lot of money means not being able to buy yourself a lot of booze. Um, and honestly, I didn't drink for like a month when I got up here from the time I left Orlando until I, uh, until I about a month up here. And it was a, a zoom call with, uh, or a Facebook messenger call with, uh, Chrissy and, and Chantel. And, um, I had a little cocktail and it was fun. So I drink every so often, but my tolerance has so gone down. So, so gone down. 
All right, so we are getting our last game set up right now. We're going to check into the Trivia Murder Party Hotel. Your room code is S-I-U-E. S-I-U-E. Join the fun. Get your spot in the game. Oh, bitch, put in. Look at that. Fart on my face. Shadow on my face. <laughs> oh, I love it. Y'all are ridiculous. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was an economically large martini class. <laughs> Chrissy, that was not my first cocktail up here, but that was probably one of the drunkest I've been up here <laughs> since I moved. There was one time when I walked into a wall. I was so drunk when I left the bar. <laughs> Chrissy's being honored by all of the other on my face names in there. All right. You can join the audience at any time using room code S I U E at jackbox.tv. In this game, you can play along and the audience could possibly win. They want a piece of your good juju. Yes. And if you, uh, if you know Juju B, the drag queen from uh, the Boston area, I don't know if she's still out in Boston. Um, but it's currently on RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 5. She just released her EP, Good Juju Volume 1, and uh, her it's the second part, Good Juju Volume 2, is coming out. Oh, you were late but because you had a rough first day back at work? Oh, but I'm glad that you made it. We are glad to see you here, Miss Chantel Roche. Oh, she, is she in L.A. now? Of course she is. Good for her. I love me some Juju B. So, so sweet. All right, Ms. Bitch Pudding, go ahead and hit everybody's in. Let's get this game started. Our final game of the night. She did kill it last Friday night. When I went over, when I essentially walked over to my thermostat and set it to a sensible 74 degrees today, I absolutely thought about her. <laughs> Chrissy, you're so rude. She has looked gorgeous on that runway. No matter what you say about uh, whether or not she's playing some mind games, she has looked stunning on that runway. And up next, danger. <laughs> This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. See, Antia was doing great on the runway. Survive. I don't think she was doing but great Jeff, in the challenges. That was a match she went home. Cut all emotional attachments now. Okay, first question. Who wrote and directed Get Out? All right, come on, y'all know this. Y'all know the answer to this. To answer the question. Who wrote and directed Get Out? <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Oh, Sean, sheep. Which leaves only you. Time for consequences. Welcome to the killing room. It's the killing room. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Everyone else will be typing too. And if everybody, a this will also you, be at the top you of your die. screen. And the letter begins now. Dear customer service department. I am extremely frustrated with the quality of the electric toothbrush I purchased through your website. Sure, it cleans my teeth just fine, but it failed me when I tried to use it to remove an eyeball. No need for a response. I will find you if the product does not improve. Time's up. Okay, uh, now let me just um, collect your letters, and, and here's how you did. But did anyone do better than you? Oh! You were not the best. This letter is not up to my standards. <clears throat> Aw, Sean Cheese. Good job, Matthew, though. There's some good diction skills there. 
And it's only room 212 at the Parliament House. <laughs> We're not done with you yet. Okay, so don't freak out. But you're a ghost now. Keep playing, <gasps> and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. <sighs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> Which country won the first FIFA World Cup in 1930? Come on, sports. Go sports. Which country won the first FIFA World Cup in 1930? <laughs> Almost out of time. Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, Come with me. Welcome to room 217. Yay! I love using Cousin Aloysius's magic props. Ooh, skewers. Pick a space inside the box to hide. I would say don't get too comfortable, but I feel like that's obvious. <laughs> Choose your hiding spots. Of course, this magic trick does need some volunteers. Good news, I'm giving you a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. I guess it's less magic and more stabbing. Oh, I didn't know that was you, Jordan. I just looked at my, my phone. Thank you for the tip, Jordan. Thanks for playing along. How is that entertaining? <gasps> Ooh. Jeez. Nobody got skewered. Good job. Thanks to the ghost for not going into the light and instead staying here just to keep playing this dumb game with us. Let's try another one. Which of these pies does not contain animal flesh? Cumberland pie, scotch pie, chess pie, or shepherd's pie, which does not have animal flesh in it. <laughs> Time for the stop. Who picked this? All right, back to the killing room. It's math. One of my least requested mini games. <laughs> do as much math as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Let's go. Do your maths. Those of you that that got the question right, wager on who will uh, lose the game. Or in the audience, I'm not Make sure, sure who gets sure the vote for that, but ah, remember that. Whoever can. Bitch pudding is mathing it up. Followed by sit on my face. Only a couple seconds of math left. Oh, doesn't look like part of my face is gonna make it. I oh. knew it. Math is dangerous. <laughs> no, India's on All Stars 5. So if you're watching in order and you want to get through season 12 first, then you will, uh, you'll see India on All-Stars 5 and you're right there. We're here. <laughs> yeah, five all -Star seasons are right. We'll go to the final round. Next question. Oh, yeah, she was original in season three, but she's now on All-Stars 5. Awake, That's what we're right talking about. Asleep? I hate that thing. What's it called when you involuntarily jolt yourself awake right as you're falling asleep? A hype nick jerk, a thump jump, a cranial sensory shock, or a cannonball into the void? Yes, All Stars 5 is what is currently airing on VH1 on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Who picked this? A hype nick jerk. That's what I call Chrissy most of the time. It's time. There's nothing more fun than fogged up mirrors. Mirror. The ghost of my aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Take now, a look at how that aunt word Mildred's is written. Going to write a different word, but so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. 
Let the drawing begin. Try to write like Aunt Mildred to confuse to the, the people on the auntie. killing room floor. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Type the word you think Aunt Mildred wrote. If you're right, you make it out alive. Come on, Jack, my box. Into the right word now, or you die. <laughs> Would the real Aunt Eldred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. <laughs> the hype McJerk is now a ghost. <laughs> Let's keep moving. What is Cookie Monster's real name? Ooh, what is Cookie Monster's real name? Is it Mortimer, Sid, Frank, or Bob? Not the drag queen. Oh no, you didn't see the words? Stop. Stop. Who picked this? Sid. I want to show you something. I'm going to give you a chance to password protect your life. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Enter a real four-letter word. Now everyone else will try to crack the passwords. As a team, guess either password on your device. All right, I'm going to do my best to help y'all out. A letter in the right spot. If I see a letter come up in the right spot, I will I try to you all give you that password you figure out in time. notice. Okay, C and U. This is a team effort, so share clues out loud with each other. Oh, fuck. All right, there you go. Shout on my faces. Oh, so. oh fucking suck. All right. Password. We saw how this, this devolved very quickly. Shout on my face and curling bear are now ghosts. Bitch pudding and my fun new name. And Jack my box are still alive. So that probably won't go well for you. Let's try another one. What does the P in ESP stand for? Who put the P in ESP? Poltergeist, Perception, Paranormal, or Paradox? And it's not the P in Pageant, like Jada Essence Hall. Almost out of time. Who picked this? Perception. Oh, good job. Guesses. Good job, everybody. Let's keep moving. How old was Leslie Jones when she officially joined the cast of Saturday Night Live? How old was Leslie Jones? 35, 41, 47, or 52? <laughs> Time's almost stop. This. 47. My fun new name and whoever is the it's second time. person did that was shadow on my face. Got that one right. Oh, it's room 666. Time to get out the dice. Don't worry. This one's real straightforward. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. Oh. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. All right, they each have an extra one. Who are y'all giving your dice to? Come Jack, on, my right. box is... Oh, now it's even again. Oh. Curling bear. Hmm. That doesn't change a whole lot. Oh, well. Roll them. 
the player with the highest total dies. Let's see. My money's on a player with six dice. Am I right? Oh, even with Someone one less die. By dice. Jack my That's box. Dice. <laughs> oh, Jack my box is now a ghost. <laughs> yep, Brian is playing from the West Coast, Jordan. Let's try another one. What is a Romanian longhorn? I don't know, but I want to find out. <laughs> a breed of yak, a breed of mountain goat, a breed of bear, or a breed of dragon from Harry Potter. Don't forget, J.K. Rowling is cancelled. She continues oh, no. to double and triple down on her cancellation. <laughs> Who picked this? A breed of dragon from Harry Potter. Only a ghost got it wrong. Well, didn't want that to happen. Next question. Let's keep moving. So I need to restock some party supplies. What makes bile? Mm -hmm. What makes bile? Your stomach, your liver, your pancreas, or your kidneys. Almost out of time. Who picked this? Ooh. Follow me. Come on, bitch, put in. Let's go to the killing floor. It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. A playable character in the two. first Super and Smash Brothers game. Matches you, you die. All right. Get Enter a playable character from the first Super Smash Brothers game. Think back. Think of those Nintendo characters that you could beat up your friends and your siblings. A fun new name, sit on my face and curling bear. Okay, sit on my face and curling bear. Time curling bear, you still stop. there? Maybe not. Maybe he stepped away. Now, let's see if there are any matches. Idiots. It says I that Mario one. Kumba. <laughs> mind meld. There was no mind meld. Well, this is fun, but I need it to end. Time to get serious. Ooh. Straight to the killing floor. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you can hold your breath. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from. Pick your keys, see if they open up the lock. Oh. Oof, not off to a great start. Choose another key. Oh, uh-oh. This is it. Your last chance. Let's see. <gasps> Bitch Puddin' got the right key. Oh, my fun new name. This would be a good time for an awesome key pun. Hmm. Eh, maybe next time. <laughs> Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. McDonaldland characters. characters. Hamburglar, right Sergeant Sea Salt. Good job, bitch pudding. Every court dancer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. But at this, all ghosts get to play too. If a ghost catches you, he'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. London and tube lines, Shepherd's push line, Waterloo and City line, and for the ghost, Victoria line. Choose the ones that are Time London tube up. lines. All 
right, everybody progressing. So closing in on you. Beetle songs. Behind blue eyes, I want to hold your hand in Love Shack. Choose the ones that are beetle songs. I want to hold your hand. Let's just call that a fluke. Vitamins. G, D4, and X. Which of those are vitamins? All right. You cannot run that ghost forever. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Oh, the darkness is coming. It's only darkness. Arthropods. Centipede, oyster, leech. Which of those are arthropods? Oh, my fun new name. Time to right on pitch put its heels. Major greenhouse gases. Sulfur hexafluoride, hexafluorothane, nitrogen trifluoride. Ooh, still oh, just on vitamin. heels of bitch pudding. Andrew Lloyd Weber musicals. The Music Man, Love Never Dies, or Hairspray. Phantom of the Opera 2, Love Never Dies. Body Snatch, my fun new name is now in the lead. One last trap. If you want to get through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. All right, you need all three correct to get through the, the gate. Answer choice now too. Cotton fur, cowbane, birdwood. Which of those are types of lumber? Ooh. No one's out yet. Gymnastics moves. Jumpo, flick. Black, giant. Which of those are gymnastics moves? Oh. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Oh, the bitch put and takes the body back with the body snatch. Animals statistically likely to outlive a moose. A water snake, a parrot, or a seal. Which will statistically are statistically likely to outlive a moose. Oh! So close, my fun new name. Bitch putting escapes with the body. Where is the body? Akiria is the body. All right. Hi, hello, wonderful people out there. Hearing my voice through the whole game. Now seeing my beautiful face. Um, I just want to say again, thank you for those of you who have uh, stuck around and played and watched and done all of these fun things with us on this new digital game night. Um, thank you to Mikey for taking over Orlando game night when um, the Bear Den is reopened and even before I left um, Orlando, I appreciate you taking up the mantle of host of Game Night. Thank you for doing uh, Orlando Game Night Home Edition. Um, and I'm glad that you were able to enjoy some game time while drinking and just enjoying yourself um, this evening. Uh, so I have names, five different pieces of paper. So I'm shuffling these all up in my hands. I don't know which is where and who and how and what. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Steve OnlyFans is still watching. If not, I uh, I know I can get in touch with him via Mikey and all of that. Ah, oh, yes, I know, right? Anything to make it not feel like you're drinking alone at home. That's why only. That's why I haven't really been drinking. Just because it's only me here um, with Havoc. And honestly, you know, they made cat wine, but I haven't seen them make um, 
uh, uh, dog wine or anything like that. Thank you, Jordan. I, this is a, it, it is important to stay connected, um, while staying safe. And, uh, I, I know that in some places things are opening up, but just because they're opening up doesn't always mean that it's safe to go out and do. Um, but I appreciate everybody that is taking all the proper precautions and doing things right. And to those of you who are not doing things right, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Cause you're just, oh, it's so good to play with you too again, Chrissy. Um, it, it's just selfish to, to not um, do things properly and take the proper precautions. Looking at you, Fire Island Pines. All right. I've mixed them up, doing a whole big mix here. Let me get this mixed up. Sheen screen, screen sharing. Okay. Do a little more. Okay. Let's see. So you can see that I'm not just randomly. I'm just. All right. This is our winner. Let's see. S O M F. Sit on my face. Sit on my face, Chrissy. You are our first grand prize winner on Digital Game Night. I have your email address, so I will be sending you over a twenty-five dollar uh, Bearskin gift certificate. That is courtesy of our sponsors, Bearskin. You can visit their website at bearskin.com. That's B-E-A-R-S-K-N.com. They've got lots of great stuff over on the website. Not just underwear; they have some accessories and um, some other things as well. Jock straps now too. Um, lots of fun colors and, and prints. So um, go check them out, bearskin.com. And a special thank you to Scott Benson. Scotty, we love you so much. Uh, Scott Benson, realtor with Greenhouse Realty. He is um, he is also a sponsor. And you know what? I'm going to pick a second one for a $10 Amazon gift card because this is the first digital game night that we have. So I want to, unless it's sit on my face, which I love you, Chrissy, but... Um, I'm, I'm not going to pull your name out of here, but if I pull your name, I'm pulling it again. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Okay. Again, I'm not going to look. Hold on. Let's see. We're going to go with this piece of paper. For a $10 gift certificate, courtesy of Scott Benson, Realtor. Remember, go to his website, um, scottytherealtor.com, if you're in the market. You're not getting both prizes, Chrissy. <laughs> I love you, but it's not happening. All right, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. We're going to pick this one. The winner of a $10 Amazon gift card is Bitch Pudding BP. And you know what? Be only fans, I'll find out your email address. I'm going to get you a $5 gift card for Amazon. Um, Y'all were fantastic. So Chrissy gets our grand prize of $25 to Bearskin. Uh, bitch Pudding, you'll get a $10 Amazon gift card. And um, whatchamacallit. Um, and OnlyFans, I'm going to get you a $5 Amazon gift card. Thank you all so much for hanging out and playing. Um, thank you to Addison Taylor for hopping in and uh, being our guest digital bartender. Um, remember, if you enjoy Addie and you would like to throw a tip her way and tip the virtual bartender um, at a and Tickets, dollar sign a n r tickets or paypal.me slash a n r tickets and go to the addison taylor.com although michael herbert thank you for sending me um addison taylor.com is a um is a chiropractor's website uh, a chiropractic wellness website so go to addison taylor.com as well um and uh that is it maybe we'll figure out a way to get some people into the game room um Love you too. Mwah. Thank you all so much. Have a great night. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Bye.